Welcome to Bods Mayhem Hour. Your source for all hard rock, heavy metal, new metal, alternative, punk, horror punk, hardcore, rock, and all local bands with your host, John the Bod, a.k.a. The Bodfather. Welcome back to Bod's Mayhem Hour. We are in the media tent at Rock on the Range, and I have the band Joyous Wolf here with us. Uh, go on and introduce yourselves. Me, I'm Robert. I play drums. I'm Nick. I scream at people. Hi, I'm Blake. I play guitar. I'm Greg, and I play bass. Now, you guys have been out on the festival circuit this spring. You played at Carolina Rebellion, Northern Invasion, and now at Rock on the Range. And we're going to Rockville. Hey, oh, welcome to Rockville as well. Great. Um, so what's it like playing these festivals? Amazing. Yeah, amazing, yeah. Um, Full of amazing staff and uh, it's great. Uh, what's been the favorite, best one you've been to? Is it this one? Or, 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 I, this one? This one's up there. This one's my, it's like tied. It's tied I'm for gonna say this one. This one in Carolina Rebellion. Yeah. My favorites. Yeah. Okay. Is there any pressure or nervousness of being one of the first bands that play and open the day? Honestly, uh, we've had a habit of always being the first band, like throughout our like time playing. So like, it's nothing really new. I, th- I think it'll be even it'll be weird when we're not, you know. Yeah, like we've we, always opened for bands whenever we played shows, so it just feels normal. It's yeah. more it's more motivating to just give it your all. I guess yeah, it is the whole opening thing kind of. is one of the reasons why we're so crazy. Yeah. Uh, now I got a chance to catch you guys set this morning, and, and it was very electric, energizing. Uh, for people who have never seen you all play, what do they expect? Good time. Yeah. yeah. A I real think. rock show. Yeah. Some, some blues music, maybe. Yeah. A bit. Now, you have a new single out called Mountain Man. Yeah. Uh, talk new. a little bit about that. It's brand new. It's really new. Okay. Uh, uh, it's, it's a song that we wrote in like 20 minutes, jammed it, and then uh, we never thought it would end up being like the song that like would be what we're known for, at least at this point, because uh, we just got signed to Roadrunner back in March, and we're gonna go make a record and release it, hopefully, in the fall. And uh, I don't know much, much what, what else you wanna say about Mouth Man. We're happy that people like it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's definitely a great song. Y'all played earlier today. Uh, you mentioned working on a new album. Uh, have you already had songs written for that, or are you on the process? Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. More, more than enough. We have a lot of back material and new material. It's, it's like a mix at this point, you know? Yeah. What goes into choosing a set list that you play live? Do you all usually play the same songs for every show, or do you mix it up? Or kind of we mix it up sometimes, but generally, like, if, like for when we have, like, festivals like this, and we have lots of shows in between, like we have uh, the last couple of months, uh, we, uh... We like to play the same set a lot because it, it tightens us up. It has a certain flow to it. Yeah. Also. Yeah. By the time we. No, sorry. I was, I was going to say it also depends on the context too. Like sometimes if we play festivals or smaller shows, we might mix it up, or depending on the set time too, we might move things around. Yeah. And the way we play is a lot of improvisation, so it, it's still different each time, even though it's the same yeah. song. Yeah. You guys have been out on the road with Black Top Mojo this spring. Uh, talk a little bit about playing with them. Those They're guys, really three guys, freaking awesome. Yes, yeah. very awesome yeah. guys. Their songs group super hard. Too. Yeah, they got these great, great bunch of players. Uh, great singer. Uh, they've been nothing but friendly to us. Uh, nothing but accommodating. Uh, their staff, they got uh, like a uh, dot. Guys. Yeah, freaking great people. They're the real Southern comfort. Yeah, yeah, they really are, man. Yeah. Do you have any crazy stories from the road or any crazy fan interactions these yeah. festivals yet? I think the craziest thing that's ever happened to me with a fan happened today. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this lady was like sobbing. And, and she was like, that was beautiful. That was the best thing I've ever seen. And, she, and I'd never met her. I don't know her. And I was just like, she, wow. You know, and I gave her a hug and I'm like, please don't cry. Like, this is, this is weird. I don't know what to do. You know, like, it, it was the first time anyone's ever been brought to tears. And I, I just don't know how to feel about that. And that was very, like, like, it's honoring, you know, it's like, a, that's cool, but it's also kind of disturbing, <laughs> you know, like, wow. Uh, but you guys have, like, a classic rock slash bluesy feel to your music. Is that on purpose? And if it is, what kind of, uh, 
what bands are influences you on? I don't know if it's on purpose. I feel like it just like it, it just sort of happened that way. I mean, when we first started making music, it wasn't anything like the music we make now yeah, at all. We kind of just all like took the bands that we like to listen to, and those were our influences. You know, like they ranged from the '60s, '70s, and '90s all across the spectrum. Um, now here at Rock of the Range, there's a lot of big bands playing. Uh, have you guys got a chance to see anybody? And if not. Decided to see. Tool. 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 Yeah, yeah. Tool. yeah. We saw them at Northern, Northern, Invasion. Invasion. Northern Invasion. I was side stage, man. That was insane. They were the best live band. I have yet to see them myself, so I'm excited. Oh, they're, it's it's, it's terrifying. Oh, it it's terrifying. terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> it's just them, man. It's just these four there, guys. There's a, there's a reason why half the people at this festival are wearing Tool shirts alone. It's because they're fucking incredible. Okay, uh, I'll wrap it up here real quick. I know you got got things to do. Uh, where can people check out your all's music or information on you Joyouswolf.com. Uh, you can find us on YouTube, on Instagram, at Joyous Wolf Music, and same with uh, Twitter, at Joyous Wolf Music, Facebook, Spotify, all that stuff. Just Google Joyous Wolf and you will find our stuff. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, one, last, one last question. The latest craze on the internet this week is the Laurel and Yanni debate. Have you all heard it? And if so, what do you hear? I've heard it, but I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is yet. I, I don't know what it is either. Yeah. I, I wish I had it to play for you, but oh, we probably wouldn't man. be able to hear it anyway. No, I'm sorry. I know that Hawthorne Heights on Friday used that as their stage intro when they came out on stage, so I thought it was funny. So. Oh, my God. I wish we were that cool. We're, we're, so, cu we're so cut off. Yeah. We're, we're on tour. I, I have no idea what's happening in the world. Yeah. Like, if, it's not, if it's not on Instagram, I, I don't really know that. I, a nuke could have went off in the Pacific Ocean and I wouldn't know about it, you know. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, thank you for coming on uh, Boston Ham Hour. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having us.